And Duel stepping back in to Duel. Did you win that match? All right, I'm out of here, guys. Keep All it right, going. See you. Wish me luck against the duel. All right, so here we have uh, Kai's taking the lead against Tony for slot, but we in the stream. So yeah, I still I'm still not quite sure what each each of these characters' goals is in the neutral game for this matchup. Yeah, this is very like I, I, it's a hard matchup to kind of like explain. It seems like it seems like Tony's getting a lot of mileage just from staying under Kais, just hitting his Charizard up in the air constantly. Cause yeah, well, that's one thing. Like Charizard does have um, some options as far as like you know, covering himself underneath, but it's not really great. Like down there, it's kind of kind of slow overall, and neutral it doesn't come out fast enough for. Uh, neither, neither actually neither does Mewtwo. Mewtwo down here is also not that great for approaching. Yeah, it's basically a matchup of like neither one of them wants to be above the other one realistically. Like, and you can see it right now. Ka you know, Kais. Oh, Ooh, good use of the down B to get up there. Is that a combo or is that just a read? That was just. Uh, I just don't think Tony reacted in time. I think if Tony had just been mashing up B, he probably could have like teleported down, and gotten away. But no, it's that definitely. Or maybe it's Ooh, not. Solid combo. Drops it. I think he went for a grab and got the, the jab instead. Yeah, he tried to go for like a grab reset in the middle of the combo. Kai's going for one too many up tilts there. Uh, and Tony going back to the try and true method of holding ledge, which in all honesty, like Mewtwo suffers a little bit in the, in the neutral game. So holding ledge in, in certain matchups is actually very important. Like, yeah, absolutely. So he doesn't just get rushed down and with yeah. no up recovery options. Exactly. Ooh, gets caught out of the up. So, ooh. Yeah, definitely was smart to hold on to. Uh, that dash attack jump. is nasty. That yeah, sends you that far. Yeah, it's, it's really good. In all honesty, uh, Kai's doing a good job of using his uh, mold, his uh, two different ways of recovering, aka either. Oh, if he just held, <laughs> if he just held the ledge, it was over. This edge game is really interesting. Yeah, well, you've got Charizard who's got so who can use the edge so well, and then you got Mewtwo's uh, ability to just teleport the ledge pretty much at will. Ooh, tries to go for a side B mix up. Ooh, what just was that? doesn't jump. Uh, that must have been that looked like forward air, considering the, the darkness around him. The darkness? The darkness. Oh, no, he's gonna die to the tail. And they're both just killing each other with their tails. Yeah, and the one time getting tail isn't a good thing. <laughs> but anyway. Up, oh, okay. grab, back throw, put him in that scenario. Oh, grab ledge. My nair beats your nair. <laughs> my nair is still stupid. <laughs> After all this time. <laughs> Still not gonna die from that. But. Ooh, Nair. Nair actually covers the. Uh, Nair. Yep, yep. Yeah. Ooh, that okay. might. Yeah, was that, that killed. Wait, was that, was that a glide? Yeah, that was glide into uh, glide up. Here, so he just did a glide off stage with Lolly Ledge, and and that was the right option. Yeah, basically. Well, he did it at the, just the right height, so that way he was able to kind of like glide right above like the the ledge, so that way he could get uh, safe. Guys, guess what? But yeah, that was actually a pretty good option. Although Tony could have lived from that, but I don't think he expected to be hit by it. So, all right. So game two, we've got uh, battlefield. Battlefield counter pick. I think Tony wants to uh, bikes the platforms because yeah. he thinks, uh, from a pure horizontal standpoint, he can uh, he can approach Charizard better, as you can see right now. He's yeah, and he can also use the platforms to his advantage. He can kind of like stay underneath them and force Charizard into a uh, approach scenarios that aren't exactly uh, ideal. Uh, As you can see, Char you see Charizard's the one that jumps first because uh, he's he gets up uh, beaten in the horizontal game. Exactly. Trading forward is there. Unfortunately, uh, Kai's not getting the sweet spot on his. Not as weak see. But uh, Tony's doing a pretty good job of uh, spacing as far as like. Um, like in all honesty, like this is probably one of Tony's better maps. That's gonna kill. Wow, Tony Tony with a pretty good lead. Yeah, solid. He's only taking about 60%. Give or take. Oh, as long as he has grab is gonna be. Ooh. And to pivot back to uh, turn around and jump there. Ooh, tries to get the blowback, but just. But Tony not knows he was oh. leaning back the whole time. And if Tony just waited a little longer, been patient, and then just teleport straight to the ledge, that probably that could have been like another kill on guys. But unfortunately, that up throw is going to kill. 
this is weird. I'm not used to seeing myself while commentating a match. Yeah, I think I think our our, our stream manager forgot to change the, the screen. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess we're Casey Tron now because over half our screen is uh, players and not the actual gameplay. <laughs> but that's a different story. Just doing it at a thumbnail. We're commentating a thumbnail. Yeah, <laughs> commentating the next thumbnail. <laughs> we should just we should have like one time where Wavebird is creating thumbnails for the for the next week's like bots. And just have us like commentate over him like, creating them. <laughs> on, on, the, uh, on the on the video thumbnail, it'll it'll be oh. it'll be Tony and Kais. <laughs> just <laughs> it's not even the characters, it's just this picture. Like just Actually that'd be kinda cool, just have this picture, have like the versus symbol in the middle. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Our stream manager after three minutes of the game decided to come back and fix it. Why didn't they tell me? <laughs> because we were too busy commentating! We're doing our job! I can't talk to you in the middle of commentary. Oh, uh, alright, that's gonna kill. Battlefield's low ceiling is gonna be, uh, lower ceiling. Bro. Yo, this VOD is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we, we've already got it settled. We're gonna have the, instead of the normal thumbnail, we're gonna have the, the photo of those guys playing as the thumbnail. <laughs> Since that's most of what you're watching. <laughs> Hey, we might get more views considering most of the people on the internet have a hard on for Tony, but that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> so even though uh, Tony took the lead first, uh, Kais... Kais did a really good job of uh, bringing it back overall. Kais uh, is showing that the stage doesn't matter. Yeah, it just matters who's the better player. No, this is still game two. Although this is still, like, in all in all honesty, this is still a very close match. Uh, that's... Ooh. Ooh, he tried to... I don't know what he tried to do. It looked like he tried to, like, air dodge or something, but... Or he tried to, like, nair to cover himself, but the upbeat just kind of just went straight through it. Yeah, I think he went... He was scared. Tony was scared of the nair, so he didn't want to go in either direction, because, I don't know, that nair is just so huge. Yeah, but then uh, Kais used the optimal Charizard kill option in that scenario and upbeat, because Charizard upbeat is actually a really good kill option. There it is. That's not going to kill, unfortunately. He needed about, like... Five more percent, give or take. Even with good DI, five, five or ten more percent would have killed. Meanwhile, that's gonna kill because uh, Kais was clearly uh, DIing for the up throw. You know, Tony's gonna do uh, the Mewtwo Shino stall. Shoutouts to Emo Killer. Man, remember the good old days when the Whoop stall? Yeah. Whoop stall. Yeah. You weren't around for that, but back in the day when uh, oh, we had a wow. really big name guy uh, named Emo Killer in the scene. Who all he did, like in between stocks or like when he was in dangerous scenarios, he'd go to ledge and just fall off ledge, up B, fall off ledge, up B. And it, oh, yeah. it, it, it like, it just literally all you hear is whoop, 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 